Don't you dare let anyone tell you that tonight was a good game, okay? The only thing good about it was that we didn't blow it! Get ready to fly! Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Once again. And uh, yeah, welcome back. So if you're new to the channel, if you could subscribe, we'd really appreciate that. We cover Jazz contact all the, content all the time, but we do cover some NHL content as well, as all of our previous videos will show. Uh, yeah, we'd appreciate that. This video is sponsored by BetUS. Do you suffer from terrible weather keeping you indoors for months on end? Nope, nope, nope. Do you frequently find yourself predicting every given play on God's green earth? No, no, it's not surprising that Ehlers scored. He's an elite Danish forward, not a second string bench player. Well, that is a problem no longer. With BetUS, simply sign up today with promo code NHP and receive a 125% cash bonus on your first deposit. But wait, there's more. Enjoy BetUS' massive selection of leagues where you can put your money where your mouth is, from NHL to NCAA and even the CFL. So to take advantage of this extraordinary opportunity, make sure you go down to the description below Click on the link and use promo code NHB on BetUS for a 125% extra cash on your first deposit. Yay. Uh, yeah, so the Jets would defeat the Chicago Blackhawks 6-4. And um, it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't good, but it was okay. Um, let's get into it. Jeff Mallott plays his first NHL game tonight. He did okay. He took his first penalty as all Jets rite of passages go. It seems all right. Um, Brooks was in the lineup because La Lowry was out with COVID. So yeah, yeah. Here's the thing though. We had, I was worried about this, but it actually turned into kind of a positive. We had Cop on the third line. Now for the record, we are trading Cop. If we're not trading Cop, we're idiots. Um, we are so like, we are so dumb if we're not trading Cop. Um, but Cobb was on the third line tonight, which I, we, would, I expected to see him on the first line just to showcase Andrew Cobb in his last game as a Winnipeg Jet, which should be tonight. Um, but no, he was on the third line. Doesn't matter, though. Third line did great, honestly. It, it really did. Now, let's get into the first goal. Nikolai Ehlers would recognize he has time and space on the rush. He would catch Flurry pretty much sleeping and wrap around to make it one nothing reaction here. Move, move with it, move with it. Go, go right there, right there, right there. Yes! Woo! Elias! Woo! That away, honestly. He's gonna cheat like that. Just make him pay every time. Yep, and that would be the only goal of the first period. It would be, uh, it was a good common goal. It, the first period kind of flew by, to be honest. There were chances here and there. Um, the Blackhawks really kind of tried a couple of opportunities early on in that period, but not a lot went. Then, uh, yeah, no, we get into the second period, and do you guys remember the, uh, Islanders game a couple while ago, where it was close, it was close, but then we had just the first two minutes of utter disaster. Yup! That's this again. Jonathan Taves, 113 into the second period, makes it 1-1 re reaction here. Oh. Of course it's the Winnipeg boy. Well, we saw some pretty good redirections early on, including one from Jonathan Taylor. And we're tied. Carter doesn't like when I point and talk, which makes sense, but anyway. It just it just messes with the editing. Twenty so don't seconds editing. later! Dylan Strom would score to make a 2-1 Blackhawks reaction here. No, 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 no! How do you leave them so wide open? Like, seriously. Strom just walks in like it's his kitchen. Where the hell is the forward line? Where did you go? Like, the entire forwards just leave the zone. Leave uh, Schmidt and Stanley out the dry. Um, just frustrating, 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 because there's just sometimes stupid plays. 
But anyway, then, not long after that, Jansen Harkins would finish off a sweet deflection shot uh, from Dylan DeMello to make a 2-2 reaction here. Yes! Woo! Oh, yeah. Well, if you're going to suck like that, you might as well. Yeah, and then after that, that was nice, that was nice. Halfway through the second now, Harkins would have his first ever career two-goal game. A sickening feed from Andrew Kopp across the goal mouth right to Jansen Harkins to make it 3-2 Winnipeg Jets. Move with it. Oh! You sneaky son of a bitch! You love to see it! Woo! Now we got some controversy here. The refs kind of made a mistake here. And honestly, if we're being honest, this game probably should have went to overtime. Marc-Andre Fleury pretty much gets his, his glove knocked out of his hand from Blake Wheeler on the power play as the Jets are on the power play. The Jets cycle around. They notice that Marc-Andre Fleury goes down low to go to grab his glove. So they immediately pass the puck, sling the puck up to Morrissey, over to Connor, to the glove side to shoot it. Flurry tries to get over there with bare handing to bare hand it. No such luck. Kyle Connor, his 39th of the season reaction here. He doesn't have a glove. Flurry doesn't have a glove. What the hell? <laughs> I feel bad for laughing at that. <laughs> you have no glove? Let's shoot glove side, bitch. That, it was gutty. It's gutty. Like, it's nothing you can blame the Jets for because the Jets play to the whistle. But the ref was on the wrong side of the play and he should have blown it dead. Like, that, there has to be some type of rule. This has happened like three times now, like between Thatcher Demko and other situations like this. Like, you need some type of protocol if a goaltender loses his equipment. But yeah. No, the Jets would keep pressing, though. The second period was the Jets' period by far. Even though the first two minutes were horrendous, the Jets were out firing on all cylinders. Then, late in the period, Shifley would find Josh Morrissey right in the slot for his ninth of the season reaction here. Oh! Cannon! Shifley kind of just looks at Morrissey like, Let's go though. 5 2 lead. Absolutely tattoos the puck. You love to see it. And then we go to the third period, and the third period is where things start to kind of fall apart very slowly. Taylor Radish would score his first as a Chicago Blackhawk, by the way, to make it 5 3 reaction here. The wave that... Oh my. God. No, was that his first? Why? Why does everyone need, like, a milestone goal against us? Like, God damn it. On the power play, might I add. Um, and then, uh, Philip Kurashev would then make it 5-4 and a bad goal. Four, but, like, seven minutes left with them out. Them score no, 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 I refuse I, no, no, God, why? <laughs> These assholes, all of them. The, the hell of bunker was okay. It wasn't really out in full form, to be honest. We're leaving it over there, but it is what it is. Belt. Honestly, who deserves the mic award for the worst yet today? This is going to be Carter's final broadcast. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Top three.
<laughs> Who gets the mic award? No one! <laughs> Top three. Blake Wheeler makes it 6-4 empty netter. Get it out! Go, get, go, go! Get on your horse! Good, good. I think Cobb actually touched that, so that might be his last assist as a Jet. Out of way. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Blake Wheeler with empty netter makes it 6-4. Jets top three. Harkins gets number one. Kyle Connor gets number two. Andrew Kopp in his final game as Winnipeg Jet gets number three. Not a good game, an, accept an acceptable one, if I have to say that. Honestly, this Jets team is not tanking, but they're not, but they are selling, if that makes sense. I think that's the best way to show this team's identity is to not tank, but you're selling. Sometimes, though, this team in the neutral zone, like not in the neutral, in their own zone, they were just leaving the zone way too early. Like, the puck wouldn't even be out, and there's three guys out already. It's like, guys, come on, pick up your man. Again, but just problems like that. The offense looked fine tonight. Power play was okay. Then again, they did score on a one-armed goalie, so there's the... <laughs> Take that where you will. Uh, but yeah... No, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on this game. Where do you think Andrew Cobb will end up? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, Connor. He'll the top for Connor and Pierre.